What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are going to destroy the, Spe the Swedish Empire, who have cowardly taken one of our territories in the Caribbean, and we're also going to open up another threat axis against the Russians by taking Stockholm, which appears to be poorly defended. But first of all, we have to take the city of Christiana from Sweden. So let's crack on an attack. So the problem is right now, we have one front against Russia, and that is in that's through the and um, the pass between the Carpathian Mountains and the Black Sea in Romania, which is quite a narrow spot, really. Um, so what I want to do is try and open up some more um, more fronts against Russia. So I think we're taking Stockholm. That'll be the perfect landing landing pad to begin. Um, invading northern Russia. And while we're doing this, we are also going to continue aggressively expanding in the Americas. Because as it stands, we are probably the most powerful faction in the, on the continent now that we have destroyed the French. So let's get ready to push up and bring death and destruction to the, the last Swedish city. There we go. Then my howitzers. Open fire with devastating quick climb. So let's take our infantry line. Advance up quite aggressively, although I can't actually get the... There we go. Couldn't actually get the line to drop in the way I wanted it to. Bring my gorillas up on the right flank. Get lots of my cavalry up on the high ground. Provincial cavalry, provincial cavalry. Got lots of garrison line infantry, but nothing that's going to really cause us too many issues. The cavalry may intercept us to try and cause us to edit or change our advance but we've managed to spook them away the artillery is trying to destroy their mortars that are currently dug in in defense to defensive positions but we are securing the flank so let's start to hit some of their regiments of foot with quicklime I mean, sadly, we're getting sound shenanigans. Let's bring our cavalry down. Nope, no need. Potential need against this provincial cavalry unit. Halt. Halt my gorillas. So we've got a charge on the left flank that I missed. My pikes can counter that. Because they're within the within within range. This cavalry unit can this infantry unit deploy into square because that provincial cavalry unit is probably going to make it. So my sweet my pikes are advancing through the trees into this regiment of provincial cavalry. Let's use our cavalry to threaten. The rear areas, it looks like they're marching towards my cavalry on the left flank. It's obviously not something I want. Quick climb, attack ground on this central concentration of men. My gorillas open fire. They will not be in the action for long. My regiment of horse go take out their mortar garrison. Bring my Cressier in. Bring my cavalry a bit further out on the right flank onto the higher ground. So my regiment of horse might get charged by provincial cavalry, but that's okay. So this first regiment of garrison line is going to stick it out. Reinforcements are coming in over in the distance. 
field artillery ceasefire. To be honest, chasing them down is a bit overkill. My cuirassier can hit the garrison militia. My pikes have pushed out into in front of the line. That's not too bad. Recall my cavalry. Let's not go crazy. The enemy have been thoroughly smashed. Okay, get my pikes back behind the line. Field artillery, fire at will. <laughs> so the reinforcements there, they're over here. It's a big chunk, a big chunk of the reinforcements are regiments of foot, so they will likely not not be not approve of the way that the battle has gone so far. Once we've knocked out this militia unit, hopefully we can then push on and take out the general's bodyguard. Yeah, once again, the enemy is being utterly smashed. So maintain the offensive and we're also pivoting our line to be in a better position to respond to the enemy's reinforcements. General's bodyguards got involved in this combat. Get my pike boys running around the flank. Quick Lime's aiming at the garrison line, but they're too far away. So we've got a regiment of militia, the 9th regiment of militia, the 10th regiment, the 8th regiment. Poor, poor souls. They had such hope for their republic, but hope was not enough. Enemy general's been killed in this combat to the north. So they're all, they're all massing to support the combat against their general. Which will mainly result in my continuing advance. Enemy troops, <laughs> enemy reinforcements are marching into a bit of a cauldron here. Oh man, that unit got hit by quick light when it was just entirely not necessary. I do think that's the end of their reinforcements though. Imagine this, you're marching into the field and just think, Jesus. You think this is... We're supposed to be helping out here, right? Advance up to the edge of the woodland. Once we knock out the general's bodyguard, we can be... A, I can fix my formation a bit. And they got some more provincial cavalry coming in. Round shot, engage the 6th regiment of foot. We don't need to do any chasing down. The men will be annihilated once the city is taken, so bring these men back so I can then stretch some line uphill like so. My cavalry can run around and through the gaps. Yeah, more militia coming in. Let's 
ran my pike through the town on the flank. Same with my cuirassier. Let's give new targets for the artillery. I mean, yeah, that's quite a... a potential juicy target. And my guerrillas... You men form square, the gorilla run through them. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So much death. Don't bother hitting them. So even though, you know, the name... The, the strategies here are kind of just smash into each other like a pair of hammers. The real name of the game is Fire and Manoeuvre. Men push up to that gap. You men charge the militia. You cross the air, charge that unit of militia. You pikes go charge them. To be honest, it's it's over. Smashy, smashy, choppy, choppy. Yeah, cavalry's routing. Everyone's routing. Everyone's had enough. You men of fire will off. Yeah, this cavalry should do some real good damage against the against the militia there. Obviously these cavalry are a bit isolated, but they are being supported by a unit of Swiss pikes. So all they have to do is fix the militia down and let the pikemen do the rest of the work. Poke, poke. Jabby, jab. Artillery cease fire. There's no need to chase them down because once they are dead, the faction is destroyed. Hey. Charge you men in, charge you, run you men up to form a new front line. They're only provincial cavalry. We've got cuirassier and Regiment of Horse, so they will not be alive for very long. Yeah, so Macuracier took a bit of damage here, but they really smashed the left flank. Oh, yeah, let's just end the battle there. <laughs> so, what we've done is we have destroyed the Swedish. There will be their territory in the Caribbean will be that much easier to grab. Do you have a school? You do, Stavanger. Let's get rid of that. So you're currently earning about 300 a turn. Not great, but you'll, it will get better because we're going to build roads. We're probably going to get rid of the dockyard. Upgrade you to... Maybe a happiness building? But right now these armies are well placed to face off against a future European threat. Like I said, you're overkill. So you guys will rebalance to becoming a conventional fighting force. This this infantry up here can go join Hermano Ramos. You're all going to run up and take command of that force up there. 
So the Russians are on the run back here. Well, they're upset anyway. Not in good condition. This force is going to cross over to Sinope. Disembark the army. Sail back over to the Crimea. Take the city. There we go. There's no one nearby to do some immediate da damage. We're going to ta start taxing them. You men are going to take position out on the front line. Yeah, you guys are going to stay where you are. Yes, yeah, so we took Crimea from the Russians, starting to take... Well, we're going to push on to Stockholm soon. Obviously in the Americas, that means this has become pirates. So they will fall in due course. You're marching up ready to take Paramaribo. Okay. Two in, so in a handful of turns, we're going to get something very, very valuable technologies, including this upkeep cost is going to be very useful. And all these bonuses to textile wealth are going to be incredibly useful as well, especially once we start expanding even more in the Americas, because lots of these areas do have do end up growing lots of towns. So, we worked out the Iroquois have allies. But we're already at war with the Cherokee anyway. We're going to get this army in a good position to march on Quebec. So if we declare war on... So I think Quebec have some frustrating allies, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're with the Knights of St. John, but that doesn't matter. Because we can declare on the Iroquois. Cut, the Quebec may or may not join them. Hopefully they do. If they don't, we'll just take Niagara anyway. If they don't, we'll declare war on Quebec anyway, and then we will engulf the Knights of St. John. Okay, so we've got a reasonable fleet of ships here. But again, they are not doing anything. I mean, we're not at war with the Austrians, but I think I still might put these men on a raiding mission that's my port there are no enemy ports to worry about in the east so you are a bit surplus to requirements so I may but I may as well have you still raiding so you're a good force you're a good force I don't think there's much to do except to hit end turn. At some point we are going to declare war on... We're going to fight Austria. But hopefully... I mean, sooner or later... I mean, we like them. But they hate us. Understandably, because we're at war with all of their allies. That will be what... is our, That will be our final... Um, challenge... Because we will be at war with their allies. Sooner or later they'll just go, no, we're not going to put up with this any longer. But they can't, well, they can keep massing troops in, um, on our small border. But they're going to have to start realising that actually we have more borders now. Ooh, do I want to intercept? Probably, because that army's pretty strong. And it draws in this force plus the one behind it that's dug in in the hills. And obviously all of our chaps are up and ready. And this force is this force is fairly strong. I think we've got to do it. They have no artillery as well, so they're incentivized to charge us. So, yes. If we do that, we can blow two of those armies back in pretty short order. And then being quite a strong... A reasonably strong position on that front to go on the offensive. I think that's probably the best call there. We need to get Norway to bring Norway into the fold so we can march on Stockholm in short order. So we're probably going to have to build a church school where the regular school used to be to start to convert them towards Catholicism. Okay, so I like the flatter ground because I want to maximise my advantage in artillery. 
Let's just take some of our weaker units, put them in the centre. Let's take some of our stronger units to form our flanks. It's quite a big left flank, but okay, that'll be where our strength is. And potentially our rapid reaction force is if we get screwed over on deployment. Which we have not. So the howitzers can't fire yet, so let's switch them to round shot. Let's bring our cavalry over onto the right flank. Oh, bring my general back. Don't want him to get shot in the back by a cannonball. Starting to get some shots in, do a bit of damage, but then we do rather quickly want you to switch to Quicklime. Because Quicklime's just so damn good. They've got a lot of troops advancing on the right flank. So this flank is going to have to be... This flank, the right flank may end up getting massively supported by... Our quick climb, quick climbing howitzers. Yeah, you continue to engage the dragoons. Actually, you might hit the lancer guards behind them if we're going to quick climb the dragoons. Although, to be honest, we probably want to just quick climb the infantry because squares we can deal with fairly well. Yeah, quick climb that unit of marines. Canister shot. So there. Yeah, they've squared up, ready to fire a volley. But they've not liked that result. Switch to round shot and I try and hit the Lancer Guards first. You guys canister shot that Dragoon unit, hopefully, with your last two shots. Now I hit the ground in front. Round shot. The engineers. So those Lancer Guards are going to need to be shot off their saddles. We will need to swing the left flank in. Stand up guards and at them. Haha, <laughs> this is no edge of my line. This is still my line. So they're shattered. Good, they're both shattered. So then... Ooh, hit the cuirassier, please. Fortunately, they're in musket shooting range. And they're... Oh, sweet. They broke as well, which means we can do some really good damage on damage against them now. You men canister shot those horse grenadier guards. Let's get our quick climb start to change their focus onto the right flank. They should do some quite good damage here because they'll be firing along their line. The horse... Ooh, so shot's coming in. Reasonable hit. Got some cuirassier on the flank. They're going to get shot to bits again. Can you guys hit the Cossack infantry? Yeah, they're really, that's actually not a great position to be in. Let's fall my line back. This howitzer becomes a bit less useful, so let's get them to hit the 14th Regiment.
this limits me to my the support I can give them to a certain degree. Okay, my heavy cavalry hit the blunderbuss shotgunners on that flank. I'm not really utilizing my right flank as effectively as I should be. Yeah, so they've charged into my gunners. But if my gunners decide to abandon the guns, which they have, so just run away. Kill the shotgunners. Okay, let's start to support and break up this line formation a bit. Use laser gun. Gunners, pick up your guns. Okay, you guys pick up your guns, switch the cannon to shot, engage the 16 foot guards. You guys should be enough to wipe out these pretty elite Russian units. Simonevsky foot guards in the Grenadier Regiment. But if you can make them break, then you guys can pull back. Because cavalry's coming. Bring my heavy cavalry back into the fold. Hit the Marines. Switch to round shot, engage the Eastern European mercenaries. We've got some expat infantry coming in. Charge my heavy cavalry into the Marines. Or well, actually, they might hit the Grenadiers while these men advance up, because you might actually be able to kill that regiment of Grenadiers. You guys drop into square. It was too late. You men push up to fire into the flank of those troops. You guys get back into line. Because these guys are caught between two squares. Cannons to shot the Cossacks. Grenadier unit destroyed. Fall back. Oh, the Swiss line's actually firing into the Cossacks, which isn't... That's not too bad. The militia are running around the dead ground. Hit the engineers. The cavalry are gone, but it looks like more's coming back. Ta ta. Let's drop back with the right flank. With the left flank, let's push up with the right. Because we now dominate. Bring our heavy cavalry into the mix. You guys switch to round shot. Because the center can now also pivot. You guys hit the line infantry. How it says engage the 35th. So these gunners back here engage the 10th Regiment of Horse, the Vibioni Strelzi. Chase down the Grenadier unit. There are spikes, but they are facing the wrong direction to stop us. Let's not go too mad with my general. They do still have reinforcements coming in. Guard musketeers, grenadiers. Get these grenadiers into round into square. So if I can get kill a unit, another unit, it's a risk because I've got the the first foot guards right there.
I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to get my heavy cavalry back. For my infantry like so. Well, not running into my spikes. That's for darn sure. Well, not my spikes. Their spikes. There we go. And we've intercepted them, so they have to attack us. It's not like all these militia, they're like forming single fire around the formation. That's right. That's right, Russians, advance into my defensive line that's absolutely smashed your offensive. Sent you scattering back into the hills. My heavy artillery folks on the Tartar. My quick climb are focusing on the Grenadiers coming in. Because they are not in great shape. There's a unit of line infantry coming in, but eh. These men are now advancing up to our lines. And they may be brave men, but are they brave enough? I suspect the answer is no. Let's just get the General's bodyguard ready on the flank to charge in. Tartar are done. Keep firing at my firing my artillery at them. Good god, that quick line was perfect. Charge in. I mean the 56th can't stick around. Surely. I mean, the Tata might come back. There's only They've only lost 18 men. It's kind of why I want to get these guys and kind of block them off. I'm not so bothered about the line infantry. It's these grenadier guards and stuff. That's what I want to kill. My line infantry is is me. You guys fire well off. Speed up time. Damn right we're gonna continue. Let's continue clearing out some of these elite Russian formations. I don't think the Tartar are gonna be a problem. It looks like they're gonna successfully rout. You're gonna kill the first foot guard. This elite Russian formation. Wiped out. Go chase down the 12th Regiment. There we go. Come on. You guys can knock out some grenadiers. Come on. There's a grenadier. Not just grenadiers, they're grenadier guards. Only seven grenadiers. Three, two, one, done. Uh, come help my cavalry. Gotta be careful. There are spikes around here. Yeah, there they are. So as we run towards them... Uh, run up over here. Then run around the spikes. Then kill them! Because there are probably still some on the other side of the spikes, but if we kill the ones this side, we'll be charging back on ourselves. Oh no, they're all this side. Sweet! That was a great, great victory against the Russians. That's like one and a half Russian stacks nearly destroyed. 3,800 men lost for only 272 Italians. Ah, oh, beautiful.
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's right, back you go. The Russian army is being humbled. Oh, I'm going to have to fight it, because if we auto-resolve it, I'll take too many losses. And this army's in fairly good nick. So we're going to have to fight it. But yeah, that's the, <laughs> the, the Russian bear that was building up in this part of the world has been thrown back. There is one army left in the hills, which hopefully we can reform an army to go in and push them out. And then that means we've got a quite an advantageous position on the flank. Yeah, we can form a defensive line, sure. Let's put another two units of guns over here. Because this um, formation that's against us now is not of high quality. Colonial Light Cav on either flank. So I've got one spare unit of artillery I didn't deploy. Who is going to deploy? <laughs> that was too optimistic. Uh, let's deploy them back here. Firing round shot from long range. I mean, I don't qu quite know what they hoped to achieve. Focus on the Fusiliers and the Expat Infantry. I mean, the Regiment of Horse is a nice target, but not a game changer. So let's speed up time. Yeah, the Line Infantry Guards got smacked pretty bad. The Cavalry's got smacked pushing in. The other cavalry unit is also going to get quote unquote smacked. So push up our colonial light. Oh, the warband are advancing. Skirmishes acting like grenadiers. Good attempt. So Mr. Nadal cannot be committed yet because his force is, well, they're, they're focusing on the right flank. You guys can cease fire. Colonial Light Cavalry can go chase down the warband. Because it's on this flank that the bulk of the enemy forces are advancing. I mean, look at the fusiliers are deploying stakes. As if we're going to be... Ooh, 13th got smacked by a round shot. So kill the warband as quickly as possible, please. Because you've got orders to kill a line infantry guard unit afterwards. Go after the Fusiliers with them. Because this will be a delicious engagement. So militia, irregulars, so my infantry push up and bring death and destruction to the irregulars. Artillery cease fire. General's bodyguards running around with just one man, just the general. But kill the line infantry guardsmen, please. Then go after that regiment of expat infantry. 
Fusiliers may well escape because they've routed in a conga line. I mean, the general's bodyguard, you know, the general routed. Okay, let's send some infantry to gang up on the Fusiliers. Fusiliers are a good unit. There's militia up there, which I'm not that bothered about killing, but... Fusiliers? Well... Oh, they successfully routed. So it's everyone against the Irregulars now, but they're going to escape. But yeah, if we were to resolve that, I'd have lost loads, loads more men and killed fewer of them. Yeah, 136 remaining. Back you go. I uh, don't want to intercept. I kind of have to. Because if I do, then... There is no Russian force in Poland or in Romania on the Romanian border to stop me. So, yes. I kind of have to. Because then I can push against Russia. Which is a hell of a... A hell of an outcome for this episode. Because I was look going into it thinking, oh, the Russians are pretty strong. It's going to take a few turns to sort that out. But no, we retreated them so significantly that their forces break very quickly and we can chop them up and clean, destroy their units on the campaign map. So now they have no strength to stop us. So we're going to build up a force to cover the Austrian garrison at Transylvania. But apart from that, you know, we're going to clean up. So my weakest units, again, will be in the centre, which I know sounds super counterintuitive, but the idea is that's where most of my artillery is. So they get... Well, I might put one set of guns up on the hill back here. To be honest... Let's make a Swiss right flank. Go heavy on the left flank. Cavalry on the right. Pistols off. General in the centre. Howitz is ready to open up. So this team back here, their job will be to do counter battery almost exclusively, which they will do, fortunately, automatically, and they will do it very well. So, howitzers, focus on the... To be honest, because we don't have as much cavalry as we would, I would like, I'm not going to be able to be as devastating. Although, to be honest, you guys might not get too much action because their force is so weak it makes more sense to just advance with infantry and overwhelm so I might use my quick climb to as much as possible eliminate their um oh it's not just anyone it's a field marshal of Europe Let's try and neuter that militia unit a bit, and you guys are going to try and neuter the 5th. 50th, I should say. General's bodyguard's going to run. Because lots of, well... Plenty of... There are a couple of units here that are going to break pretty quick. Quick climb coming in. Beautiful. Oh, there's another one. 50th have been cut down to a third of their strength. These Irregulars have been spotted. So the Grenadiers and the 39th Regiment of Foot are ideal candidates for killing. You've done an excellent job in causing the 50th to rout, so let's deploy, deploy the cavalry. Toot, toot, toot. This infantry here is more than good enough to be off. Yeah, that grenadier unit's just been obliterated. 
So my gunner back here is going to focus on attacking the Field Marshal of Europe. I mean, they may as well face kill the Pandaur because they're right there. You guys can try and kill the 50th. You're under fire from those Irregulars. Let's focus fire onto them. Yeah, the right flank has completely collapsed. Unsurprising. Mostly made up of low morale troops. Kind of have to fight there, General. No, there's no point trying to get the 50th. You may as well wait to clear out the 8th. Your marsh is routing, but he will likely not be killed. I'm not going to pursue him. So if he escapes the combat, that's up to him. I would like to kill him, but my priority is the infantry. Hit the marines. Quick climb, focus on some of these weaker units on the flank. Let's get our heavy cavalry in to annihilate some people. I, mean, I don't think these guys will withstand that charge. But now they've charged, let's get them out of there, because I do want to clear out those grenadiers. And I want my army up here to advance down the hill so they don't really have a choice. They can't ignore my line. That's what I want, because right now they're chasing me down. And then they're going, no, 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 no. I'm chasing you down, remember? Could really have done with more cavalry in this army, but... Eh, there's no point wishing about what you would like to have have. There's a couple of guys over here to kill. Fortunately, it does bring me towards where I need to be. Again, just... No, I don't want my, cav my artillery. Eh. So you might not get as many as we'd like because there's a... the edge of the map is right there. So, those grenadiers are probably going to rout. Line infantry, irregular. Use alerts. To be honest, there's lots of goodies down there. I mean, I might be better off just abandoning most of these units to the can it stop all our artillery from firing they are chasing me down or attempting to start at the front and work your way back yeah, the 39th would be nice Okay, then go after that Fusilier unit. Yeah, the Marines. To be honest, get my general over here as well. Let's see, they are chasing, trying to chase me down. The general's bodyguard can go get the 38th. Once they receive one volley, they will rout. Fusiliers will be killed. Come on, men. Fire a volley. Cut them down. And then you men pivot to face the marines. Then these, So these guys can kill this regiment of foot, then the marines. You guys go chase the militia down. Continue. Go on, you can knock out this enemy regiment of foot. 
38th have been destroyed. Go take out those Marines. You guys just rack up some kills against a militia. Oh, they might actually escape. Ah, oh, they're going to get away. Damn and blast. Too close to the edge of the map. Still. That was a hell of a battle, anyway. We killed a good, a good handful of enemy units, and that last remaining full-strength army has been pushed back. So all of those armies that are currently there, waiting to oppose us in uh, near Kiev, are now depleted. It require rebels. Interesting. Interesting to see the rebels doing stuff for the Native Americans, because you never actually normally see the Native Americans rebel. So you are now no like a confederacy, but you are now a how can I tell what you are? I don't know what you are. I mean you don't like me. <laughs> oh no, I can see it from here, I'm an idiot. The Republic. I can't remember what they were before. They're probably the same as the Cherokee. Absolute monarchy. Well, now they're a Republic. New town emerges. Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. Okay, so let's... First of all, let's get our spies to go infiltrate Confeder uh, Iroquois territory. Let's build a pump, an iron mine. Firstly, let's make sure that the Places that have got road upgrades continue to be upgraded. So you're ready. Let's get a sloop up to Louisburg. So let's upgrade the port. Down here, we've obviously got Ilfonso Mendez is going to go and auto-resolve this fight against the native factions in Paramaribo. We're going to repair the commercial port. We're going to build a another sloop. Repair the governor's residence. Upgrade roads in both these territories and just go to town on both these territories for now. We're not going to upgrade that yet because I want to hop over to... Europe, because those battles, obviously, none of our armies are in a completely up to strength. But I think it would be foolish to not exploit the gains to at least push up. Okay, so let's get you. Let's repair this. Let's repair this. Let's make sure that our... The units that are being replenished... That, that can replenish are replenishing in the correct amounts. So you men... Well, no, we don't need to push up any more than that. Um, obviously, we've got a good strength force here in Serbia. You men join Aron Maz Mazdu, although... Let's take our weakest unit here. Let's combine let's combine our weakest units with our other weakest units. That's because you're colonial line. Two grenadier units, but we want to keep them as grenadier units. You men march up to the front. Our almost do. Recruit some more troops. But let's just try and keep some reinforcements of all types. Oh no, not 32 pounder. No, no, those for, those are for proper armies. I would like my reinforcements to be just regular howitzers. Okay, you guys recruit sloop to occupy the port. Serbia's pretty Catholic. So let's take our agent out over to Bulgaria. Start, or to maintain the conversion, let's upgrade you to an industrial... Ooh. 
actually, first of all, let's check. Spain, don't have to worry about happiness again yet. It's not going to go up anymore. To be honest, it's just a kind of a flat rate. Just pick, pick the best place to invest in. I mean, Egypt's usually usually a good shout. If we got good roads, okay, let's get better roads in Egypt. Jerusalem needs better roads. Damascus needs better roads. Let's upgrade the roads in Damascus. Actually, let's not do that because I've got to do stuff up here, haven't I? So they don't like us still. Let's exempt you from tax. It's only been one turn. I can build a church school to start to convert them. Oh, they've got high clamour for reform. Oh, they've got a school at Trondheim. Right, that'll really help. So Württemberg are gathering strength in Sarajevo, but fortunately it's just mercenaries and we've got troops in Belgrade ready to respond immediately if something goes astray. I think... So workers on strike in Norway. I know, they're going to break something next turn. Taking Dutch Guyana, very, very powerful thing to take. Then we're going to take Martinique, Santo Domingo. Sail back and take the Bahamas. So do the Iroquois Confederacy have any... Okay, they are allied with people. So, diplomacy, Iroquois. Declare war. Call our, Don't call our allies to help. They've been joined by the Cherokee and the Inuit, so Quebec did not join them. So this army, to be honest, might be a bit of a gamble taking them out of the territory at all, but I can take some infantry back just to keep them up to strength. You guys just advance. Put the territory under siege. We're not looking to take it yet. And I might just take this block of troops I recruited at Montreal up to Rupert's Land. Montreal doesn't need to be taken. I might run you guys up to join the Montreal garrison. I don't really have to worry about the US because they can't really recruit significant units because well, I, I have the major cities in, in North America. I think that's everything. So what are we, how are we doing? How's our economy doing for now? 27,000. That's pretty good. And we're about to get... Okay, what I might do. New Spain. I mean, they hate us. Let's offer you technology for free. They still hate us. They don't like how I've dishonored treaties. Well, they're, they're going to really not like it when I attack them, but chill out, New Spain. Your time will come. Um, but that's a pretty good result here, really, against the Russians, because we can push through, knock them out, potentially take, push on and take Kiev. I, mean, I didn't get to rebuild these territories. I mean, I could do that. But I should probably spend whatever little cash I've got doing some replenishment here. Let's hit end turn. I mean, I always, whenever it take, there's a bit of a lag for the Austrians, I always know it feels like they're running the calculations on when's the best time to attack us. Obviously, they've now, the Mughals have declared war on us, so we're going to call in New Spain. The Sultan's rage knows no bounds. Very well. Very well indeed. I'm going to march an army straight for Baghdad. Then I'm going to take Baghdad and see if they want peace again. <laughs> Obviously Russia does not like the fact I just blew a hole in their front line near Romania. They're gathering their strength, all their depleted units. 
Yeah, they're starting to send troops into raid Norway. So if we do push out of Norway into and start to try and attack Swe uh, Stockholm, we will likely still need to recruit some more armies to do some counter-raiding work. Yeah, the Iroquois want peace, understandably, because they got nothing. Westphalia soon will declare war on us. Quebec are being Quebec. The pirates are being the pirates. I mean, they can try, but not for long. Fundamentally, we are just going to take them out. So they're going to hurt our economy temporarily. We took about four grand off of our um, potential income there. It's not, it's not good, but it's not the end of the world. So this army can replenish and immediately move to... Demerara. So your road building is ongoing. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. So let's get rid of those. Okay, first of all, let's go over to Crimea. Because this army isn't replenished. Port's not repaired. We've gathered a serious amount of strength in the region. So how many troops are here? To be honest, they're all... They might have done a bit of replenishment, but they should all be fairly depleted. Let's combine you guys. Let's march you guys over to here. You men can stand here to block this force from running south. Let's upgrade you to a steam-powered cloth mill, because we've now got that new technology. So up here in Stockholm. Recruit some militia. Plenish our troops. Got some elite troops heading our way. Yeah, they're going to start sending raiders up to the north. So that's why I want to try and recruit some reasonable infantry. That's why I might probably have to recruit a corps of mercenaries to join them to to be able to stand up to uh, some of these heavy cavalry units. But in general, it feels it looks like Russia hasn't really got hold of their territory yet. I'm not going to build better roads, a because I can't, and b because I don't want to help. These guys move around the territory. All my spies are doing good stuff. But I think what I want to do is take this mass of troops and just go... Eh! Because, yeah, this first army... There's a few, uh, a few units at full strength, but most of them are knackered. This first reinforcing army is knackered. The second one, yeah, they've got a couple of units in there. And there's a couple of other stragglers in there, but the two, the bulk of their forces here are pretty depleted. So this would be a good battle. And will it draw in... Doesn't draw in these fellas, because they've only got two, two units. But it draws in all of these, plus this fresh unit of engineers that was marching to supplement the front. Then we can blow this whole front right open. Push against Laval, push against Kiev, start to really squeeze the Russians. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time for a massive, like, very, very important battle against the Russians. I mean, ultimately, we do also have bucket loads of reinforcements as well. But yeah, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on the next episode for this pivotal battle against the Russian Empire. Cheers, everyone.